guys. Just a little update here on the car. I am trying to put the blower on now. I'm not a mechanic. I'm a camera guy. But figure why not? I mean, I've done work on the GTO, so uh, blower soft's not too bad. I'll kind of show you where I'm at here. Um, uh, not very far. I'm <laughs> just kidding. So I've already got the bolts loose on here. Working on just getting the injectors unplugged, fuel rail unplugged next, and then pop off the blower and put the new one on. So, yeah. Here's the new blower. See it very well. The Nick Williams 102 throttle body on it. And man, nice. Ported Joker's blower. It's gonna be sick. Should make some good power. So to kind of walk you through what I just did, <clears throat> I unplugged, see the little green thing down there? That's, it's hard to see it. But had to unplug that from the injector. See it down there? So I do that for all of them. It disconnects from the supercharger and I'll be able to pull it off. And I still have to unplug uh, the fuel rail right here or here. Uh, hopefully then easily just put, put the, you know, pick it up, put the new blower on and call it. But these dumb little, like, you know how hard it was for me to get the injector right down in there? You guys see it with my finger? Yeah, that was a pain in the ass by like getting to these. This is definitely not as easy as the GTO. Like, look at, not that much room. But it is what it is. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a hobbyist, I guess. Call it. More of a camera guy. Now, this is some with camera equipment. Boy, it would be doing much better. Ah, got all the injectors unplugged over on this side. Now. Now I should do that fuel rail and should just should just pop off. See, these are all unplugged now. Well, the bolts have already been done, like I mentioned. Uh, so now I just have to do that fuel rail over there and it should pop off. All right, so we got the old supercharger off. Here's the new one. You can kind of tell the uh, 102 right there, throttle body, just like the 92. Pretty wild. <sighs> Man. And there's with no supercharger on it. Oh, it's clean still. Shit. I have to put the old supercharger in my car because I gotta give it uh, to my buddy since we did like a swap plus cash. So. He needs it for his V. Ah, these things are heavy. So now I got the fuel rail on, the injectors on, new blower. About ready to put this thing on the car. See what happens. It's gonna be a good time. I hope. Now we got the ported blower on. Should be ready to make some good power soon, hopefully. Actually be fast. It's got the 245 upper. You can kind of see that. Um, so it's gonna make some steam, nice and clean. Bam, it's gonna be bad. All done. Well, close. Still do the air raid, but for the most part, it's done. Uh, some new superchargers on. Pretty excited for that. Uh, we're gonna do a couple issues. Forgot like a little vacuum hose thing. Uh, I had to go pick that up from my buddy's place. It was off. My, it was on my old supercharger. This little bracket. So, um, trying to think what other issues I ran into. Nothing really. Yeah. Oh, found out they are 95 pound injectors. This says 95 on them. So, hopefully it supports this. If not, I'll probably have to upgrade. So, fuel rail may have to come back off and then upgrade. But we'll see. I'm tired of spending money. Just want to enjoy it. But it never ends. So it's the way it can crumbles, I guess. So 
guys a little recap. I uh, swapped the uh, supercharger on the car. It was a ported snout stock LSA supercharger. Now it's got a Joker's full tilt ported blower snout. Um, the works, you know, all that. Uh, overall, the install was pretty, pretty easy. I only had a couple hiccups. Um, just trying to make sure I got everything swapped accordingly. The air raid was actually like one of the most painful parts. That thing was like stupid. It's just annoying. Kind of like the, the tube to get over the big 102 throttle body. Oh, uh, that was the upgrade too over the 92 that I had. Um, so I think they're just like some 95 pound injectors, which on E85 I might max out. But when we log the car and it, uh, the fuel pressure spikes like over 70 PSI, I don't know if there's maybe like a drop-in pump, what's stock normally on this car. Um, it's kind of what happens when you buy a modded car, you don't know what's in it. So I guess we'll just have to see like what ends up happening. Well, you know, we're gonna get it tuned here soon. Um, I do like have my own HP tuners, but when it comes to E85, I'm like not comfortable with it yet. So I'm gonna take it to, uh, take it to a shop, um, get it tuned. And I'll film that, film that process, things like that. And if anything, I, I can make the small adjustments, I think, to it real quick. So, final product. So the air raid's kind of jacked up. Like, I couldn't put the plate thing on here. So, there's that. But, and that went on. You got the Nick Williams 102, the Zeal 1 lid that's already there. And then the, you can tell it's like painted different color uh, supercharger so pretty excited but yeah so overall pretty easy I'm trying to think of anything that are issues I ran into uh, this is a 245 pulley I ordered a 24 to match what I had before so I uh, just wanted to match even though it's probably gonna make more boost than it did anyways because you know more volume was the, the blower so on boost only um, E85 I hope it makes like 750 ish through the auto but we'll see it's a BTR stage 2 PDS camshaft uh, upper lower pulley 2491 combo it'll be on E85 95 pound injectors not sure what fuel pump might have a pump in it um, trying to the heads do have like a little valve work done to them because when the motor was out we did notice that the valves were bigger than like a stock LSA, but not quite sure what work had been done to them prior to me getting the car. So, Nick Williams 102, Air Raid. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, like my favorite tool ever, oh, let me see if I can find it, is this thing right here. This thing is like my favorite tool ever. It just makes my life so much easier. So. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you follow along with a build. Hopefully I can make a thousand uh, with the nitrous on the car. I don't know if it's gonna reach that. You know, I'll spray it. I it may get just 900, 950. Probably depends on the dyno. We'll see. I'm pretty excited though. It does have a built motor, so I'm not pushing the stock bottom end. Uh, I can go into details a little more about that. Hoping that, you know, just makes for a fun, nice street car. You know, consider subscribing down below. Hit the like button. It, it does help. So. Uh, hope to show you guys what the car can do against other, you know, local cars and who knows, I hope to get a truck and trailer soon to travel a little bit uh, around and, and just have some fun. So cool, yeah. Hope, uh, guys, peace.